Today, we're embarking on our journey through action thriller blown away. Expect twists, a series of turns and spoilers. Proceed with caution and hold on tight. Ryan Gaerity, a fighter of the Irish Republican Army, manages to break free from his confinement within a castle prison located in Northern Ireland. With cunning resourcefulness, Gaerity ingeniously transforms a seemingly innocuous toilet into a deadly explosive device. A guard and Gaerity's unfortunate cellmate fall victim to the devastating blast, forever altering the course of their lives. In the bustling city of Boston, we find ourselves introduced to Lieutenant James Jimmy Dove, a seasoned member of the police force's esteemed bomb squad. With his retirement looming on the horizon, Jimmy finds himself in the role of a mentor, imparting his vast knowledge and experience to the fresh-faced recruits who eagerly seek to follow in his footsteps. In the shadows of secrecy, Dove conceals his true identity as none other than Liam McGivney, a former member of a notorious Northern Ireland terrorist cell. Once upon a time, there existed a deep bond of friendship between him and Garrity. However, a fateful turn of events unfolded when Garrity, driven by a sinister motive, plotted to detonate a bomb capable of causing immense harm to innocent civilians. In the midst of the chaos, his beloved girlfriend, who happened to be Garrity's sister, met an untimely demise. The weight of this profound loss would forever haunt him, a painful reminder of the consequences that arose from his selfless act. As justice prevailed, Garrity was rightfully held accountable for his heinous intentions. The wheels of the legal system turned leading to his imprisonment, ensuring that he would no longer pose a threat to society. Thus, the tale of their friendship took a dark and sorrowful turn, forever altering the lives of those involved. The echoes of this harrowing chapter would resonate in their hearts. There, he embarked on a journey to reinvent himself, assuming a new identity in the hopes of seeking redemption. Driven by a profound desire to make amends, he dedicated his life to a perilous mission, the art of defusing bombs. With unwavering determination, McGivney sought solace in the act of saving others, fervently believing that by doing so, he could find the absolution he so desperately sought. In the realm of Dove's acquaintances, it is only his uncle the esteemed, retired Boston police officer Max O'Bannon, who possesses knowledge of Dove's past. With a compassionate heart, Max urges Dove to consider an early retirement, believing that he has already atoned for his past actions. As Garrity's eyes fixated on the television screen, a familiar face appeared. It was Dove captured in the flickering glow of the TV. A surge of determination coursed through Garrity's veins, propelling him towards his next destination. Boston, with a resolute stride, he embarked on a journey that would lead him to an unexpected refuge, an abandoned casino boat. In this desolate haven, Garrity found solace, his presence breathing life into the forgotten vessel. Taking on a new role as a janitor at the local police station, our protagonist embarks on a mission to delve deeper into Dove's current existence and gain insight into the lives of his fellow colleague. In a sinister plot, Garrity meticulously arranges a series of deadly explosives with a chilling purpose to eliminate the remaining members of the bomb squad. The initial target, Blanket, falls victim to a meticulously placed bomb concealed beneath a bridge. This tragic incident unfolds on the very night when Dove is joyously celebrating his wedding to his beloved fiancée, Kate. In the aftermath of a fabricated bomb threat, tragedy struck at the scene as technicians Rita and Cortez found themselves facing a perilous situation. Little did they know, a malevolent force had cunningly concealed an explosive within their trusted bomb disposal robot. 
this unsuspecting act of deception would prove to have devastating consequences for Rita and Cortez. As the phone rang, Dove's heart skipped a beat. On the other end of the line was Garrity, a voice from the past that sent shivers down his spine. In that moment, Dove's world shifted as he came to a chilling realization. Kate, the woman he loved, and his stepdaughter Elizabeth were in grave danger. In a hurried frenzy, he dashes towards his humble abode, his heart pounding with trepidation. As he steps inside, a wave of relief washes over him as he discovers that there is no explosive device lurking in the shadows. However, his heart sinks as he beholds a devastating sight. His loyal companion, Boomer, lies lifeless, a victim of an unknown tragedy. As he spoke, he unveiled the hidden layers of his past to Kate, revealing the truth that had long been concealed. With each word, he wove a compelling narrative that captivated both Kate and Elizabeth. The weight of his words hung in the air, urging them to take action. In the face of imminent danger, he persuaded them to seek refuge in the tranquil embrace of Max's seaside cottage. It was a place where the crashing waves and salty breeze offered solace and sanctuary. With conviction in his voice, he convinced them that this was the only path to safety. Together, they made the decision to disappear from the prying eyes of those who in a heart stopping moment Gaiarity's third bomb sends shockwaves through the air, threatening the life of Anthony Franklin, a young and inexperienced technician. Little does Franklin know, he has unknowingly connected the dots between Dove's past and Gaiarity's sinister plans. However, just as danger looms, Dove swoops in to save the day, pulling Franklin away from the clutches of certain disaster. Grateful and indebted, Franklin pledges his unwavering support to Dove, vowing to provide any assistance he can offer in their shared mission. In a moment of determination, Max makes a bold choice to personally confront Garrity, hoping to put an end to his sinister plans. He sets his sights on an Irish bar, intending to get close to his target. However, fate has a different plan in store for Max. Instead of achieving his goal, he finds himself falling into Gaiarity's clutches, trapped and helpless. To his horror, Max realizes that he has become a pawn in Gaiarity's twisted game, as he is forcibly attached to a makeshift bomb. Dove diligently tracks down Max, determined to retrieve his tools. However, as Max comprehends Gaiarity's sinister plan to eliminate them both, he makes a deliberate decision. In Dove's absence, Max intentionally activates the bomb, sacrificing himself in a selfless act of bravery. As Dove meticulously examines the remnants of the bomb, his keen eyes catch sight of a peculiar object amidst the debris. Its presence raises his curiosity, hinting at a connection yet to be unraveled. Driven by this newfound lead, Dove embarks on a daring venture towards an abandoned ship, its desolate presence looming in the distance. With each step, anticipation mounts as he senses that the answers he seeks lie within the vessel's forsaken confines. And there, amidst the shadows, Dove's gaze locks onto a figure, Garrity, the enigmatic individual he has been relentlessly pursuing. The pieces of the puzzle are slowly as the tension reached its peak. Gaiarty's sinister intentions were unveiled. With a chilling revelation, he disclosed that he had cunningly planted yet another explosive device within Kate's car. With a calculated move, he armed the bomb remotely, utilizing a radio signal to set the deadly mechanism in motion. But Gaiarty's malevolence did not stop there. In a display of diabolical genius, he activated a complex contraption, reminiscent of a Rube Goldberg machine. This intricate setup was designed to initiate a chain reaction, triggering an even more colossal array of explosives.
the destructive power of this elaborate mechanism threatened to obliterate the entire ship, leaving no chance of survival. In the midst of the ship, a fierce battle ensues as Dove and Garrity lock eyes. Their bodies intertwine in a chaotic dance, their movements fluid yet filled with raw intensity. The clash of steel reverberates through the air as their weapons collide, each strike echoing with a resounding force. The ship becomes a battleground, a stage for their relentless combat. In a dramatic turn of events, Dove manages to seize the advantage. With unwavering determination, he swiftly handcuffs himself to Garrity, effectively trapping him and preventing any chance of escape. In a selfless act of sacrifice, Dove prepares to face his impending demise, resolved to protect his secret and put an end to any further loss of life. At the last possible moment, Franklin swoops in to rescue Dove, who had been diligently tracked by Franklin all the way to the ship. Together, they manage to flee just in the nick of time before the ship erupts into a devastating explosion, ultimately claiming the life of Garrity. In a frantic rush, the two individuals sprinted back towards the city, their hearts pounding with urgency. Their sole mission, to intercept Kate before she could ignite the engine of her car. Arriving just a tad too late, they find themselves in a race against time to catch up to Kate. With determination in their hearts, Dove swiftly leaps into her car. As he carefully searches the area, his eyes lock onto the intricate bomb, its complexity evident. With steady hands and a focused mind, he begins the nerve-wracking task of defusing it, every second ticking away. Time seems to stretch. As he meticulously disarms the dangerous device, his expertise guiding his every move. Finally, with seconds to spare, he successfully neutralizes the bomb, averting a catastrophic disaster as their strength gradually returns. Franklin confides in Dove, revealing that he is aware of Dove's true identity from the past. However, Franklin proposes a pact offering to keep this knowledge a secret on one condition, that he receives recognition for bringing down Garrity. After careful consideration, Dove consents to the arrangement and hands over his beeper to Franklin. With this agreement settled, Dove departs alongside Kate and Lizzie. Blown Away, released in 1994. Directed by Stephen Hopkins, Produced on a budget of approximately $28 million. The movie's production is notable for its high cost, with a large part of the budget being spent on the construction of a replica of Boston's historic Long Wharf, which was then blown up for the film. This was considered one of the most expensive movie stunts at the time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more videos like this. Your support keeps the reels rolling, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the next recap.